In this video, I'll be showcasing how you can upgrade your gaming keyboard to become the actual fastest one on the market right now. Because to everyone's surprise, the Wooten 60 HE actually isn't. Well, yet. I mean, after this video, it will be the fastest, but currently, as we speak, the Apex Pro Mini is the fastest, despite Wooten having a faster actuation point of 0.1mm. What makes the Apex Pro Mini feel faster and be faster is because of its lower actuation force, thanks to the lighter springs that are featured inside of the OmniPoint 2.0 switches. Those springs right there give the Apex Pro Mini a 30 on the start force and a 50 on the end force, which actually beats Wooten's 60HE stock force of 40 on the start and 60 on the end. However, what you guys can do is upgrade the stock springs that are already inside of the Lekker switches to new springs that are much, much lighter. These right here are called the Linear 50s and they cost only, I think, around $15. Which if you guys do actually do this spring mod right here, which I'll show you guys how to do in a second, what this will do is it'll improve the overall speed of the key presses, as having lighter springs in the switch in itself equals less force and that equals faster bottom out. So your Wooten 60 HE will go from previously having a start force of 40 and an end force of 60 to now having a start force of 30 and an end force of 50, which would make it on par with the Apex Pro Mini, meaning players like Bugger, who are strictly on this keyboard due to its fast actuation force, can now switch over to the Wooten 60 HE after upgrading all of the Lekker switches. Now before I explain how to upgrade all the Lekker switches to have better springs, please be warned guys that it is a very painstaking process, so you might want to pay someone else to do it if you're a pro player and you don't have time, or you don't have the ability to just go in there and painstakingly change all of them. Because what you guys firstly need to do is you need to remove all the Lekker switches from the keyboard in itself, you then must get this switch opening tool on screen and crack each switch open individually, exposing the spring for each switch. You then need to separate each part of the switch out, which as you can see is a ton of parts on screen, but where mainly focused on the spring in itself. You then need to replace the spring in itself from the original one to the linear 50 one on each switch again. Then you must put all the switches back together and then you must place each switch back into the keyboard and then put the case on, all that stuff and just make the keyboard look normal again. Basically put all the parts back. After you've done that you now have a modded Wooten 60 HE that has much lighter springs. So you technically now have the fastest keyboard on the market like in all aspects. So yeah, guys, it's up to you if you do want to take this painstaking process of upgrading all the springs. I know a lot of people won't, but if you do truly want that extra speed, this is one of the modifications I highly recommend doing. Especially for pro players out there, like imagine having a modded Wooten 60 HE and then also using the rapid trigger feature inside of a utility software alongside that. Like that right there is an end game keyboard that I don't think anything out there is better than right now as we speak. Like this modded version of the Wooten 60 HE is just unbelievable quick and I highly recommend any pro player out there does this modification and improves the speed of their keyboard.